What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jay with the way back with another video. And today, I'm gonna break down the new episode of The Shy, season four, episode four. I know I've been going for a little minute, but don't worry, y'all, I'm back. Y'all let me know about any other shows y'all would like for me to break down. All right, y'all, let's get it. The episode starts off with Kevin and them at therapy. They trying to talk to the therapist on why Kevin keep on acting so bad and cursing at him, but Kevin act like he ain't trying to hear all that. We cut to that little girl walking through the store with that dude named Nook, and Nook goes ahead and tell her to hurry up inside the store. And while she's inside that store, she hurries up and go meet up with Tris's girlfriend. And Tris's girl go ahead and give him that phone and tells him to meet her at a certain place at a certain time so keisha go and meet up with the other family that she think about giving the baby to but she kind of don't like them because they not from 63rd and they don't mess with the bds so she go ahead and kick them out the house so kevin little thought ass girlfriend want to tell everybody to go lead the school at a certain time so they can go ahead and go protest but kevin ain't trying to hear all that he tries to convince her not to then her and kevin get into a little argument in front of everybody so trey girlfriend go ahead and meet up at that spot that she told that little girl from earlier at the store to meet her at but she doesn't show up so she goes ahead and call her but she don't answer so she drives off so kevin girlfriend and jake and that little white girl walk out of class but they were the only ones who walked out because everybody else was too scared so they just decided to skip school for the rest of the day so keisha walking with that one lady that she's thinking about giving a baby to then she start acting all dramatic like she about to have a baby so she go ahead and take her to the hospital so tris girlfriend buzz up inside the office and she's mad because that one girl didn't get a meet up with her last night so she's scared something might have happened to her so she tells tris to go find the girl so keisha is at the hospital now and the doctor comes in and tell her that she might have to induce labor i don't know what that means but it sounds very important but then it turns out she doesn't have to do that she just had high blood pressure so dre is at the hospital with emin's mom and it turns out that emin's mom's cancer is actually getting worse but she's scared to tell emin yet but dre is trying to convince her to tell him so jay chilling with kevin thought ass girlfriend and they end up flirting with each other and they end up kissing how do you feel about jay kissing kevin's girlfriend even though they best friends that's crazy that's why you can't trust these little thoughts so Trey pulls up on nook to try and ask him about the girl from earlier but nook act like he don't know what he's talking about so Trey goes in and pull out the gun on him and puts it in his face and asks him again and everybody else pointed the gun at Trey, but Trey didn't really care and he pulled up by himself too that's how you know he real because a lot of us real gangsters out here like myself we don't need no backup so emmett goes to his mom's house to check up on his mom and she how she's doing and she's in the bathroom throwing up and she goes and reveals to him that she actually has cancer and you can see the sadness and the look on emmett's face so what do y'all think might be next for emmett now how do y'all think emmett might handle this when it was revealed that keisha really doesn't have to induce labor she goes in and comes to the point where she decides who she wants to have her baby and she goes ahead and decides that she wants octavia to have her baby the same lady she was with her earlier i actually do think that she made a good decision because she does seem like a nice lady so trey comes home and his girlfriend goes in and asks him about what happened with the girl and he pulls out the same exact phone that she gave him earlier at the store and tells her that nook had had it and she goes in and said where's the girl at and trey goes in and tells the girl that the girl was found dead somewhere in the lake and imani gets up and start crying all right y'all thank y'all for watching this video y'all remember y'all let me know any other shows that y'all be wanting me to do i got an all-american episode coming on the way y'all go ahead and like share and hit that subscribe button all right y'all peace